So let's take a slice. Oh, it's gliding. Oh. <laughs> oh, look at that. Now that is perfect air fryer pork. Hi everyone, welcome to Backyard Chef. I'm Rick. Today we are going to do something with this. I've not used a rotisserie feature on this oven yet. Now this oven has started to become one of my favorite gadgets in the kitchen. I can be really truthful. So I haven't done a rotisserie recipe yet. Today I'm going to do a stuffed pork loin cooked in here and we're even going to do the roast potatoes in here at the same time. So if it's something you're interested in and you want to see it, stick around. Just have to get my bib on and let's get cooking. Okay, we've got a pan full of potatoes there. I've already peeled and uh, cubed them up. They're in some water and we're going to just add a little bit of turmeric powder. Now this is going to turn those yellow. It's going to give those roast potatoes that lovely yellow colour. Now the secret ingredient to these roast potatoes is baking soda. In it goes. Just give that little mix up and then we're going to get that pan on the flame. So what we're going to do, we're going to get that on the flame and we're going to bring it up to the boil for five minutes and then turn off. And then these potatoes will be ready to go in our tray and crisp up as roast potatoes. Okay, we've got a nice piece of pork loin here. A really nice piece. It's about 800 grams and we're going to take off some of this silver skin there. We don't want that. And what we're going to do, we're going to butterfly it open so we can roll it. So that is silver skin which we cannot eat. So let's just take that off there. So what we need to do, we need to actually cut into this and open it all the way up. So we're going to start at this end and we're going to come in there. Then we're going to turn it round. So in we go here. And then we're going to bring that back in there like that. Now you can cut it as thin as you want, but you know, we want some chunks of meat, you know, when we slice through. So that's going to be about okay. And then what we need to do, we need to season this. And we only want a little bit of salt in the inside, just to season it through. A little bit of pepper. Now this is freshly ground black pepper. A little bit of thyme. Now we don't want to herb it up too much. Now I am going to go over with just a little dusting of garlic powder. A little bit of fennel seeds. Now this is where you get creative with whatever you want, you know. But fennel and pork work really well together. Okay, this is my homemade sage and onion stuffing mix, actually. And what we need to do... We need to do what you do with a normal packet sage and onion stuffing mix. We've got to add some boiling water to rehydrate it. Now, not too much. And we're going to go in there with some butter. A little bit of butter to give it that nice buttery taste inside our pork. And then all we're going to do is give that a mix in. Now, we don't want this too wet. Because if we have a wet stuffing mix inside, it's all going to run out. And this is going to rehydrate with the butter and that water. Now we're not bothered about leaving it any length of time as such because it's going to cook inside the pork. So it's going to absorb the pork juices as well. And then all we're going to do is we're going to put some of that on the inside of our pork. Now I'm not going to come all the way to the ends.
Okay, so there's different ways of actually rolling your pork for your um, rotisserie. Now what you can do, you could put that on there, roll over all the pork and this will be in the center. Or you could roll it all the way up and then put the rotisserie in the middle of the pork. So we are going to roll our pork over, over, over. And that is our rolled pork. So what we need to do, we need to actually tie that rolled pork just a little bit to hold it together. So up with some string, a nice double turn over there, just to snap it together. We've got to keep it together and then just finish off with a knot. So that's going to hold our pork nice and steady and then we need to repeat that all the way around. So all we're going to do is we're going to take that, we're going to go around there, and they come through there. And then we're going to just turn it over and we're going to feed that through there. Now this is my way, I'm not a butcher. And then we're going to bring that piece and we're going to double knot just bring it in together and tie it off. Then we just need to cut off those raggy ends. And that is our rolled pork. So just stick that back in there. And then what we're going to do, we're going to take our rotisserie and we're going to push that nice and gently all the way through our pork. Now this is obviously to hold our pork together. So we need to bring that in just a little bit like that and tighten it up. Push it into our pork and then what we're going to do we're going to take the other side And we're going to feed that in there too. And tighten it up. So that is our pork on our rotisserie. As easy as that. I mean that really is quite straightforward. And then I'm just going to take a little bit of oil. We're going to come around with the oil. just to help lubricate our pork as it's turning with a little bit of salt a little bit of seasoning and that's it and that is now going in our air fryer so engage that in that side so you've got one side in there and then what we need to do is engage this side into there. So what we need to do, we need to go on. Now I'm completely guessing at this, so we need to switch the dial around till we get round to the rotisserie symbol down there. Oh, gone too far. So we're on rotisserie there. So that's selected rotisserie. I'll put a light on. And then what we need to do, I'm going to go for a temperature 
of mm, 200 and I'm going to go for a time of 25 minutes. In fact, I'll go 20 minutes. Okay, so we've got a temperature of 200. We've got a time for 20 minutes. So don't forget to put the drip tray underneath. We've set the temperature, we've set the time. All there is to do now is hit the play button, the start. So that's our stuff port line. On the rotisserie going round 20 minutes 200 degrees then we're going to change the time and cook it a little bit lower and slower and we'll see what happens All I've done is boil the potatoes, drain them, put them back on the heat in the pan, give them a shake around to fluff up the potato. So we just shake them about, as you can see, fluff up the potato. And then we're going in there with a little bit of oil and we're going to give it a little shake. Now don't shake it too much, we don't want oil everywhere. And that's put oil around our potatoes. And then all we're going to do is we're going to put the potatoes round our meat. So just pull out that tray and put the potatoes round the meat. Obviously the meat's got to rotate. So shut your door. Still on rotisserie. We want to just hit rotisserie. What we want to do we want to alter the time for about 30 minutes. And we want to alter the temperature to about 160. And then all we're going to do, hopefully, the roast is going to cook in there. And we should have some roast potatoes. So our potatoes look like they're going to be doing okay in there. They're going to be in for about 30 minutes. 30 minutes, they should be coloured up all over there. You know, they were parboiled. The, they've had the outside broken down with a little bit of baking soda. They should be absolutely perfect. Now, this is a beauty about using a rotisserie feature. And this rotisserie from Hi Sapienta seems to be working really well. You can see the oils and the juices of the meat going round the meat as it's cooking. This is going to make this a really tender joint of meat. Okay, we've only got about 11 minutes. We're halfway through. What I'm going to do is I'm going to give those potatoes a turnover like we would do normally if we we're doing a roast. So let's just bring that down. Let's bring that out a little bit. And what we're going to do, we're just going to turn the potatoes over. So basically what we're doing, we're treating it as a normal oven, because it is an oven. Back on, it'll carry on. Those roast potatoes are looking very good. You know, they've been in there a little while now. Uh, we've just got 10 minutes left on the clock, so we'll see what happens. I'm hoping everything comes together all at the same time. Okay, it's telling me it's done. Now what we need to do is check the internal temperature of the pork. Now I'm using a thermometer and what we have to be careful of that when we insert a thermometer we don't put it all the way through to that bar at the back. We're looking for an internal temperature of about 160 which is about 71. So let's just insert that in there. It's at 69. So that pork is done. So we're going to leave those roast potatoes in there, but we're going to take this pork out. Now we're going to use this handy dandy thing to lift it up. 
and that is pretty simple to use just shut up the door for a minute so for our fork then we need to rest it okay it's got to be rested for a little while so we're going to get some tin foil and we're just going straight over the top and just leave that to rest for about five minutes while we prep everything else up okay so let's take our roast and then what we need to do we need to remove our rotisserie clips see if that'll come out of there straight away oh yeah no problem right slide out our meat has it stuck to no it's fine so take our rotisserie clip out and our bar so let's cut into this and see what we've got so I'll just snip that string that we had so remove our string and then all we need to do is cut into our pork roast so let's take a slice oh it's gliding oh <laughs> look at that now that is perfect air fryer pork just look at that that is superb A bit of gravy. Oh. Just look at that. Now you wouldn't think that has come out of an air fryer. All done in one go. All the meat and the potatoes, obviously the veg we put in the pan. And we've made some gravy, but we've tipped in the meat juices. That is phenomenal. Crunchy roast potatoes. They are delicious. Now this is a butter knife. No blade. Really tender succulent pork. man that is just so so good so there we have it what do you think to that then that is a fantastic roast if you like what we're doing don't forget smash that like and subscribe share with your friends all that kind of stuff now here's a reminder in my description there is a link to this oven it's an affiliate link I do get paid a small commission if you would like to purchase one if not just go along have a look see what you think is the price right I think it's an essential piece of kit in the kitchen